name's Sasha. Hello. Welcome to this world we all take for granted. <laughs> I'll be your sustainability guy for tonight. My speciality is consulting in clean tech. For those of you who have a little bit of a problem with technical jargon, let me put that into Star Trek terms for you. <laughs> I am a planetary empath responsible for this ship's hygiene and life support systems, conveniently found on deck 34B. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Seems like a friendly guy. He's got a good career. This is a promising future. <laughs> the truth is, I have a lot of self-doubt. <laughs> Not only that, I was kind of like a liberal sprinkling of self-actualization dilemmas. <laughs> and, a, and a conservative list of first world problems so long <laughs> would make a starving child cry. <laughs> You heard the guy before me, sustainability is tough. Even, even clean tech is tough. Why? It's boring. <laughs> so nobody cares about it. And as a result, I don't really get paid very much. Oh. Oh. No clean tech. Windmills, sun panels, super efficient cars that are noiseless. And all of us working together, sharing everything, making everything big, one big happy you, whatever. <laughs> Not as good as dirty, sexy tech. <laughs> Flights to exciting locations, fireworks exploding in the sky, and the latest, ooh, the latest gizmos and gadgets. Quadrocopters that fly you all over the place, home robotics that meet your every desire. <laughs> the iPhone 7, 85 kilograms of CO2. I mean, it doesn't matter what I eat my entire life, I'm not going to generate that amount of gas. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make clean tech sexy? Well, I guess it depends. So some things, I mean, there are a bunch of things we can do. There's actually three things we can do. One, simplify. This is the Japanese model. The philosophy of less is more. This is about being super efficient and deadly, like a ninja. <laughs> Number two, amplify. The American model. Also referred to as more is more. <laughs> this is Silicon Valley, Elon Musk, Tesla. Number three, accessorize. This is the Topshop model. <laughs> it's basically about hustling. You need to find some way of making all of this stuff work. It's kind of like that guy who has a difficult time chatting up girls, borrows his friend's cute French bulldog, takes it for a walk to the park to ease the introductions. <laughs> but anyway, seriously, um, it's not that bad. I mean, there are positives. There are positives to, to being in sustainability and being paid so little, because if you're paid so little, it's almost impossible to have a huge carbon footprint. <laughs> on the negative side, though, on the negative side, you know, we're in this rat race to save the planet. I mean, I've started fasting one day a week. And that's not just to save money so that I can afford just a little bit of sexy, dirty tech. <laughs> you know, it's really what it's about is I don't want that starving kid to have one up on me. <laughs> so, so why is it that we pay, or how is it that this happens, that people are trying to save the planet are so poorly paid? I'll tell you. Have you heard of procurement? <laughs> or, or more specifically, procurement departments. <laughs> procurement is like you bringing communism to shopping. <laughs> or it's also like um, you're going to your graduation dance with your, um, your partner, you bring along your mom, your date brings along her dad, 
And the only hope you have is that somehow they get it on so that you can sneak off and do the same. <laughs> or, or, you go to a food market and you bring your personal trainer along and they get to tell you what you are and aren't allowed to try. <laughs> it's kind of tough out there. It's kind of tough out there. So who are these people who work in procurement, you ask? Well, you know those people who thought it was a good idea to breed pugs? <laughs> now if you take them and you breed them with pugs, <laughs> Children, they're procurers. <laughs> procurers. But do you do you know what 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 a, what a procurer is? Actually, I'll give you the definition of a procurer. A procurer is somebody who obtains the services of a prostitute for another person. Now, before you all get out your dirty, sexy tech and check if I'm right, just think about it for a while. From a corporation's perspective, this, this makes perfect sense. So, if you're a full-time employee, you, you know, you're a human resource. You sign up with Jill at HR. You do a nine to five. You have an allocated desk, statutory benefits. If you become a contractor, a freelancer, or a consultant, that changes. You sign up with Captain Pugwash from Procurement. <laughs> you think you're doing well. You think things are getting better. You think you're going up in the world. It's an illusion. You have been procured. <laughs> the corporation will, at any time, at in any place, when they want to, Fuck you. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>